happy Saturday and welcome back to my channel. I've been really enjoying filming on Saturdays the past kind of couple weeks. So I thought I would take you along today for my Saturday. I of course have to show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this savvy hoodie. It's kind of cropped, a little bit cropped, not like super short. Um, and then a savvy tank top has like this really cute back and then Savvy sports bra, and then Savvy skins leggings. Um, they're just really stretchy, comfy. They kind of a kind of compare them with the lines, the lemon lines, but they're really not. They're like more of like a sleek fabric. They're not that buttery soft, but they do have that waistband where it really doesn't dig in or anything. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna be doing today, but I just figured like start the vlog, see what happens, see where it takes us. Um, it's only eight, it's like 8.10. And I'm just gonna bring my dog out for a quick walk. Um, I probably should eat something and I'll show you that. I am preparing my beverages. So this is a um, liquid IV watermelon in a burn boot camp shaker. I'm putting some ice in it because I like it to be cold. And then just like regular water. I just threw some granola and a little bit of almond butter in my yogurt. That is my breakfast. Fluff, say hi to the people. Hello. Hi. It is 9.59 and I'm here at my very favorite place, Fabletics. They open at 10, so I was like, you know what, let me get there right when they open because that's the best time to just take over the dressing room. So I'm going to go shop. Uh, I'm going to do like a shop with me video like I always do of the November collection. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's probably already up when you're watching this, but if not, be on the lookout. So yeah, I'm going to start heading into the mall now. I can't with the Christmas candy already out. Mission complete. We just finished up at Fabletics. So you'll have to watch the video to see what I got. I just walked all around the mall. I got my very first Christmas gift for my mom. I really want to do all my shopping by on or before Black Friday, but I just don't know what to get anybody. I'm super stumped, like nobody needs anything, so I don't know. So I walked all around the mall and I did get something, so that's good. I don't know what I'm doing now, I'm probably, actually I really need a coffee. <laughs> and I probably need lunch too. I got, have you ever had these Power Crunch bars? They definitely have a lot of random ingredients like they're not they're not the healthiest thing but if you're really craving like a candy bar or something like that it kind of hits the spot and they do have some protein like there's whey protein in there and stuff so I was walking through Wegmans and I was so hungry I really need to get lunch and I was like okay let me get some of those bars so I can at least have one of those I have some water but I want to get a coffee I can't decide if I want Dunks or Starbucks and I need to get lunch. I don't really know what's around here. I normally, when I'm around here, I normally get Chick-fil-A, but I'm not feeling it. I want something healthier because lately, whenever I eat a meal like that, I just feel like, like heavy. So I'm just kind of craving like a sweet green or something that's like lighter and fresher right now. I just feel like that's what I need. So I'm going in search of food now and I will update you if I find some. I have eaten. It turned out that there's not a sweet green right near here. I don't know why I thought there was, but there's not. So I went to Be Good cause that is next to the mall and it was fine. Like it wasn't great, but 
I am fed and I did not get Chick-fil-A, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> I did get sweet potato fries, but um, I got a salad and it was pretty good. I think they changed the lettuce because there was like something in there that was really hard. Like I kept biting down on something being like, ugh. But whatever, I'm fed, so I'm no longer hangry. But I still feel like I need a coffee. So I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna get uh, Dunks on my way to the highway because that's like on my way. So I think that is next on the agenda. Back again, hello, hello. I just went to Target. I was not planning on it, I knew I needed to. But I, when I left Be Good, I kind of went the wrong way out of the parking lot. And the way that it directed me, I found myself passing the target out here. So why not? I got these scrunchies by Kitsch Brand. Now I've been wanting their scrunchies that are like towels that dry your hair when it's in a bun for a while now. They had them, but no, no, no. I got satin pillow scrunchies instead. These are for if you wanna put your hair up at night. Look how restfully she's sleeping. And it's not supposed to dent your hair when you're asleep. So the other day I tried this new shampoo by Cantu and like all their little curl lines. The first time I used it, it worked pretty well. I didn't really fully show you it dry after, but it looked really good. I tried it again a couple days later and I definitely put way too much product in and it was just like, ugh. But long story short, I'm thinking these will be nice for when my hair is dry and I want to sleep with it and not mess up the curls and like not have it get all knotted when I'm asleep. I just think these are going to be great. And hold on. I told you I was gonna go get a coffee and I will be probably passing Dunkin Donuts, but as I was checking out, they had these Bang Energy drinks. I've never tried one before, but it is chocolate peanut butter blast high protein coffee. I know, I know, kind of insane. It has 120 calories, two grams of fat, so I don't see how that's keto. It literally, oh no. This, yeah, it says keto coffee, but it has two grams of fat, six carbs, 20 protein. Like that's not keto at all in any way, shape or form. I'm not keto, I'm just saying. It also has sucralose, which I like scan the ingredient list and it's the last ingredient and I just, I don't know how I thought they were sweetening it for only 120 calories, but it says to shake well. So let's do a taste test. I'm kind of scared it's gonna like go all over me now. So we'll let it, we'll let it simmer. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to spill while I'm one-handed here. Oh, that's a cute angle, isn't it? Oh, hi. And then the sun's really cute too. Okay, so. It definitely smells like peanut butter. Hmm. I don't know. It definitely tastes like peanut butter, but it's supposed to be a protein coffee. I feel like it's lacking on the coffee scent. I also <laughs> got this cookies and cream one. Just because, because you can just throw it in your fridge. And I was like, that's kind of convenient. Like if it ends up being good. Um, if I'm like kind of running late and I don't have coffee that I made and I don't want to stop. I was like, that could be kind of convenient. And honestly, I bet over ice, it would actually taste a lot better. So I wish I had a cup of ice, but you know, it'll work. All right. So I think I'm stalling. Like, I don't know why I don't want to go home because I should want to, right? But I don't know. I don't feel like doing chores and stuff. So maybe that's why. 
anyway, so I think I'm done with my errands and I should just go home. It's like half an hour to get home from here. So yeah, if I do anything else fun, I will come back and let you know. I forgot I was vlogging. So my Fierce Forward jewelry box came and I just did a short for it because I'm trying to do one short a week because filming is a little bit overwhelming at the moment, but that's just going to keep me going. And look, isn't that pretty? So it was Courage Reigns was the thing. So you're just going to have to watch the short if you want the full scoop. I'm also putting it on Instagram on my story right now but you won't see this in time, so sorry. But I love Fierce Forward Jewelry. I buy this on a monthly subscription. They are amazing, it's all handmade. This, oh my gosh, this was last month and I have worn it so much. It is so pretty. Um, not sponsored at all, I just love her. I have so many videos on her stuff, amazing. So yeah, highly, 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 highly recommend Fierce Forward Jewelry. I'm getting ready for bed and I had this it Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream sample. I just closed it with some bobby pins. And I can't believe like how moisturized my skin is. I definitely could not use this for daytime. But oh my gosh, for nighttime, this feels amazing. So I'm excited to see how it feels in the morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. I just, just, just got up. And there's a pup here. I couldn't sleep anymore. I don't know why. Oh, I look really cute right now. I'm doing Zumba later. I have a Zumba class at 9.30. I have not done Zumba in like two years in person. So that's going to be really fun. Um, but I couldn't sleep anymore. So I'm like, I might as well get up. So here we are. I'm petting my pup. We have our pup. I just put laundry in and I did not take you with me, but we are back and here's my outfit of the day. So I've got the Lululemon scuba hoodie and I forget if this is like Heather Nimbus maybe. And then I have this savvy outfit. This is the Kiwi sports bra. It's so cute. And these are Siri leggings. So this is my Zumba outfit. Obviously, I'm not going to wear a sweatshirt to do Zumba. Um, but just to bring my laundry over, I wore this sweatshirt on top. I love these. Actually, Savvy does one like this too now. But I already had this gray one. And I feel like the gray, like there's a lot going on here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be trying my Bang Cookies and Cream Coffee. I was thinking I need coffee before my class or like pre-workout or something so let's Ooh, it smells good I think it's the sucralose in it that I don't like I don't know what they would sweeten it with though to make it be 130 calories but I have a Dunkin' Donuts cup of ice. I definitely liked it over ice better. So if you're ever trying these Bang coffee drinks, I would definitely recommend putting it over ice because it makes it a lot more tasty. There we go. Just finished Zumba. I'm sorry, I couldn't film in there. There's a very strict no filming rule just so that everybody feels comfortable they just don't want anybody to film except sometimes the instructor will like let us know she's gonna just film a little clip but other than that no filming allowed but it's just so amazing how your brain like remembers like I haven't done Zumba in months and I haven't done it in person that's for sure um she did stream some in quarantine and did like some Facebook ones and then she did some on a Zumba platform. So I've like done it here and there, but I haven't done it in person in almost two years. And it was just really cool like being back and doing it again in person. There were a couple of weird moments in my mind, like one song reminded me of like, it was like one of the last songs we learned before quarantine. So I thought back to that 
And then there was another song I had never done in person. I had only done through like virtual. So it was just weird. It just kind of like brought back weird memories and thoughts, but it was so much fun. I got an awesome workout. I already have in almost 8,500 steps. I almost said 85,000. 8,500 steps for the day, which is insane. So I know I'm gonna crush my daily goal of 10K steps for the step challenge. So yeah, feeling feeling really good. Um, I don't know, I need to eat something. So I'm like, do I go to the store? Do I be lazy and just pick something up? But I should just go to the store and get some stuff to make. So I think I might go to Trader Joe's cause there's one, it's not really on the way home or anything, but like, I don't know. That just makes the most sense, doesn't it? To buy food instead of buying food out. Okay, so I guess that is the next step in our day. Um, I'm still red, <laughs> um, so that's good. So yeah, we'll go get some food, make some food, definitely need a shower, and we will continue on our day. So if anything else fun happens, I will let you know if I remember. <laughs> Just spent $67 at Trader Joe's. Like, what am I doing? And I didn't even like go in with a plan. Like I didn't get anything for food this week. I just pretty much really needed stuff for my grilled cheese and tomato soup that I'm making today as my lunch and bought all sorts of other random stuff because that's how we roll. We have showered, feeling clean now. So there is this everything free Facebook group that I'm a part of and I gave away some stuff on it and I'm not really comfortable giving out my address to people. So I just ask people to meet me like somewhere public and I was going back and forth and these two people like couldn't meet me when I was available to meet them. And they're like, well, you could just drop it off at my house. So now I have not only I'm giving them stuff for free, but I'm dropping it off to them, which I'm kind of like, that's not really how it's supposed to work, but I would rather, if they're comfortable with me going to their home, I would rather do that than give them my address to come to my home. So that is what we are about to do. So I have this bag with these curlers that just didn't really do much for me. Um, half of a Dove antiperspirant spray that I no longer use and a facial spray from Trader Joe's. And then also this yoga mat that I'm not using. The funny thing about the yoga mat is I, somebody was saying they needed one cause their PT recommended it. And I was giving the other person an option of the two to choose from. And then someone else swooped in and was like, can I have the other one? And I actually wasn't planning to give them both away because I just wanted the other person to pick. But whatever. If I need another yoga mat, I can just buy one at TJ Maxx. And for me, it's just sitting here and I really, really, really need to clean stuff out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just do a nice favor for someone who really needs it and will appreciate it rather than just having it sit in my house anymore so I'm gonna run these errands and bring these to these people hopefully it will make their day <laughs> um, I have lots more to get rid of so I'm just like happy to have things go to a new home I just got done doing my drop-offs it was actually a little bit annoying <laughs> so that just taught me that in the future I need to be very specific in my listing that I do not do drop-offs they need to be able to meet me at my location between the times that I'm available. So I learned something new. I'm sure like it should feel good to do something good for other people. So I'm sure whenever they receive it, when they go out and pick them up and say thank you, I'm gonna be feeling good about it. All right, now I am part of Sahara Rose's goddess, Rose Gold Goddess thing, even though I like never do anything with it anymore. But there's a human design circle that's starting literally right now. So I'm going to run in the house and get on that because I'm really interested in 
human design and all that stuff so it's gonna be really cool so let's go inside and if I can maybe I'll show you just like a little tiny snippet is that your brain is is nourished best by a diet that has variety and flow so the exact opposite right instead of following some structure with your diet where every morning I'm having this exact thing at a specific time and regimented it's so much more about really letting your body guide you and just kind of being in tune with whatever the flow of your body is saying sounds good. Well, it's the next day. So I guess that's the weekend because it's Monday now. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video soon. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye. Bye.